YouTube, how the duck you doing? Duck Films here. Finally, about over a year of waiting, X Defiant is finally set to release. But quickly, before we talk about that, I want to ask if you're new here and haven't already, please do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button as it greatly helps me out. But anyways, I hope you sit back, relax, and let's get right into the video. I never saw that this day would actually be coming. Mark your calendars, because May 21st, 2024, at 10 a.m. Pacific time, X Defiant is finally set to release. Now, this game is going to release in a different style than other games. At the very beginning of the launch, it's going to be in this stage as pre season this quote-unquote preseason is gonna last about six weeks then after this preseason it's gonna go into its natural season form with each season lasting about three months each season they said that they are gonna be bringing a faction three new weapons three new weapons in a 90 tier battle pass new game modes and different ranked variations. So you can expect this every single season. Now when X Defiant releases, they said that they're gonna have a boot camp or a new player friendly mode, allowing for players who just installed the game to have a feel before they hop right into the main action. Now in terms of what we're getting right off the rip or right off the launch of the game, is pretty much what we got from the other playtests in open betas. We're gonna have our five unique factions, our five different game modes, 14 different maps to mix and match and play on, and 24 weapons to choose from. Now one thing that's going to be changing is that the dead sec faction is going to have to be an unlockable faction, which is different from the playtest and the open beta. Now in terms of actually unlocking attachments in other gun camos, it's not going to be like what it was in the playtest or open beta, you're actually probably going to have to unlock it as they're not just going to hand it out. However, I suspect like with most games, there's going to be paid content or paid DLC for cosmetics and so on. Now, in terms of unlocking weapons and attachments and characters, there was in an early stage an ability to unlock different things by different means. Now, they probably tweaked it some from what I remember, but pretty much you would get a certain amount of damage done to unlock one gun and so on. Now, in earlier builds of X Defiant, there's a mini battle pass that some of you may or may not have seen, where there is character camos, gun camos, and much more. Now, in terms of the camos that we saw when playing the game, for the mastery of weapons, there was the bronze, silver, and gold variations of skins. Now, whether they change this or not, who knows, but I would love to see some OG skins from like Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare 2. As this is coming from Mark Rubin, maybe he has a hat of tricks he can pull out. Now Mark Rubin did say and the rest of his dev team that they're looking at player feedback and want to tweak it so it's enjoyable for the player experience. I for one would love to see custom skins or even custom character models. Now in terms of custom character models, I'm not talking about Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj from Call of Duty, but just different color variations of the skins in general. Now a lot of people in the community have been asking for a search and destroy like game mode or a one life game mode in general. However, from what they've shown so far, this is not going to be the case, but hopefully we'll see it in an upcoming season or later on the road. Now, there is things planned as new arena and new progression modes, and they're going to continuously work on player protection, meaning cheating and whatnot. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to saying I was a believer in this game, but I felt like this game would eventually come out. However, from the last playtest, I really hope they fix the issues regarding bullet registration and hit detection and whatnot, and overall latency in the game. Now, in terms of the open beta that we had last year and the last playtest session we had, I for one can definitely tell you that there was a major improvement from the hit detection and latency in general. Now, I'm hoping from the last playtest that they have enough information and data to ensure that we have a great time on launch. Now, I'm very excited about this game because it's my last time I've played Call of Duty all of the games were done by Mark Rubin and his team. And in terms of enjoyment I had from this game, it really brings that nostalgia factor of other games. Especially games such as the OG Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 feeling. From the playtest, the sniping felt phenomenal, however, again, the hit detection was a little off when it came to sniping. But that's just me picking apart the live test session. Now when this game releases on May 21st, I plan to play this game like there's no other game on earth, pretty much grinding it all the time. I generally haven't had this much fun on a Call of Duty-esque game since Black Ops 2 in the OG Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 series. Now I definitely see that the release of this game is going to be a major stress test on the servers in general, as it is a free game and there's going to probably be a huge influx of players. Now I'm wishing all goes well with the game. Now I do plan to make lots of content and stream this game a ton. I'll have my Twitch come up on screen and it'll be in the description below. And if you want to see clips and highlights of the game, make sure to subscribe and put on that post notification bell 
to see more content. We're gonna finish up this video with some more gameplay, but anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Brain to comprehend. Oh, I've been I've been good. X Fine has been good, man. I've been having a lot of fun. I think this is a very good game. I truly think this is a very good game. Whatever this guy's got on his AK build is pretty fucking nasty. If I do say so myself. Burn him, bro. That's not the heavy fucking flamethrower right now. This guy went to play X Defiant, still playing heavy glasses. Did you try it out, but we'll later tonight after the Mavs game. Bro, the, I'm pretty sure the uh, not gonna ends happen. at 1 today. If they, don't, if they don't extend it, it ends at 1 p.m. our time, Mikey, so I don't think you do that today. No, get on the point, enemies, please. I need to keep farming you guys. This guy's got an ACOG on a vector. Respect. Let him cap it, please. No, no, no. We get another round. Oh, but I want them to keep going. Maximum time. Oh, that's looking at me! Ah. We need maximum time here, boys. They're already on the fucking map. Yeah, the spawn system is a little wonky for this game mode. You're pushed up. I'm gonna run in and drop the fire of them on them. Oh shit! It worked really well. I killed everybody. <laughs> yeah. Mm, good shit. Okay. You know, I didn't think it was. Bro, do I'm that. in my all. How was you killing me? I'm in my all, man. I'm in a fire scale, dude. Oh, fuck. Bro, we got slapped up last night, Mikey, in hockey. We got fucking the Bruins, boys. The Bruins came out to fucking play puck, bud. Let's just say, boys. The Bruins are coming over here. Duck, if you're a Toronto Maple Leafs hockey fan, you just know that the Boston Bruins every single year the Leafs. literally fuck us up. I seen that. I was in Guelph visiting a buddy for dinner and we watched part of it. It was shit. Like shit. Like they're actually shit.